Well, good evening everyone and welcome to this ninth Sporting Memories quiz. I hope you're enjoying them so far. So the topic we've got for you this week is, well, it's very topical, it's Wimbledon. So well, every question around tennis focuses on the Wimbledon tournament. So see how knowledgeable you are, um, particularly on some of the past greats and what you remember about them. So if you're ready, we've got the usual 15 questions ready for you. And I'll start off with number one. Here we go. So, how many times has Andy Murray won the Wimbledon tournament? How many times has Andy Murray won the Wimbledon singles tennis tournament? How many times? That's question number one. Question number two. How many Wimbledon singles title has Roger Federer won? How many Wimbledon singles titles has Roger Federer won? That's question number two. Number three goes back in time a little bit. Who won three consecutive championships at Wimbledon and was the last British man to win Wimbledon until Andy Murray won it. Who won three consecutive Wimbledon championships and was the last British man to win Wimbledon until Andy Murray won it? That's question number three. Number four, who holds the record for the most victories in the ladies singles title at Wimbledon? Who holds the record for most victories in the ladies singles title? So which competitor is that? She won nine titles, just to give you a clue. So who holds the record for the most victories in the ladies singles, amassing a whole nine Wimbledon titles? Who was that? That's number four. Number five, which Swede was five men won five men's singles titles from 1976 till 1980 which Swede won five men's Wimbledon titles from 1976 till 1980 can you remember that far back and if you can't have you read about this individual that's question number five number six which American was a five times losing Wimbledon women's single finalist. Which American was a five times losing Wimbledon women's singles title? That's a lot of defeats. Seven times losing in the final. Who was that? That's question number six. So question number seven. Looking at a famous 1980s match. So in 1980 the men's final between Bjorn Borg and John McEnroe was famous for its fourth set tiebreak. What was the score in that monumental tiebreak? What score was in that monumental tiebreak? So I'll just repeat the question. The 1980s men's final between Bjorn Borg and John McEnroe, it was famous for its fourth set tiebreaker. But what was the eventual score in that monumental tiebreaker? Okay, so that's question number seven. Number eight, how old was Boris Becker when he beat Kevin Curran to win the 1985 Wimbledon men's single title. I'm sure we've all heard of Boris Becker. But how old was Boris Becker when he beat Kevin Curran to win the 1985 Wimbledon men's singles title? How old was he? Number nine. Which famous former tennis great is Steffi Graf married to? Which famous former tennis great and Wimbledon great as well is Steffi Graf married to? 
That's number nine. Number ten, if you can guess your mind back to the 1990s, Pete Sambras dominated the 1990s at Wimbledon. He won the men's title, the single title, every year from 1993 until 2000, but with the exception of 1996. So who won it? in the year 1996? That's question 10. I'll just repeat that. Pete Sambras, Pete Sambras dominated Wimbledon in the 1990s. He won the men's single title every year from 1993 to 2000 with the exception of 1996. But who did win it in 1996? That's question 10. Okay. Question 11. How many Wimbledon singles titles have the Williams sisters, that's Venus and Serena, how many have they shared between them? So what's the total Wimbledon's titles if you added both of them up? How many Wimbledon singles titles have the Williams sisters shared between them? What's the total number they've amassed between them? Have a think about that. That's number 11. Number 12, going back to the early 2000s now. Goran Ivanisevic won the Wimbledon men's singles title in 2001. But who did he memorably beat in the semi final of that year? I'll just repeat that. Question 12. Goran Ivanisevic won the Wimbledon men's singles title in 2001. But who did he memorably beat in the semi-final of that year? That's number 12. Number 13. In a Wimbledon match regarded as many as the greatest in the history of tennis, at what time did Rafael Nadal's epic victory over Roger Federer in the 2008 final end. So I'll just repeat that one. In a Wimbledon match regarded as the greatest in the history of tennis, at what time did Rafael Nadal's epic victory over Roger Federer in 2008, when did it end? What time did that match end? That's 13. Number 14, I'm going to cast your mind back a little way on this one. How many Wimbledon singles titles did Jimmy Connors win, the American? How many Wimbledon singles titles did Jimmy Connors win? So that's 14. Which brings us already to your last question, number 15. Are we ready? Here we go. Which female tennis player dominated Wimbledon in the late 1960s and the early 70s with six singles titles? I'll repeat that. Which female tennis player dominated Wimbledon in the late 60s and into the early 70s with six singles titles? So that concludes the Wimbledon quiz. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope it's spurred a few memories already. We'll go through the answers on Sunday evening. And in the meantime, have a good weekend. Bye-bye for now.